Welcome to the Model Car Hobby Headquarters Fun Podcast with your host, Luca C. Now, here he is, Luca C. All right, well, we're back. And, well, Pat, um, so now later on that you've been uh, trucking on, you know, the whole internet thing took off over the past 20, 25 years. That's how, yeah. you know, we got to know each other and I'd see your models and like, like, you know, you used, used to get some of my stuff and um, the old Randy Ayers group, man, the, well, the old message board days, man, that was awesome. Yeah. That was that was something that really changed the hobby for us. And, you know, yeah. you started to create these long distance friendships and, and absolutely and, and really got to know people and people got to show their, their art. You know, that's, I've always said, this is art for us. And, uh, and is, and I, and I, I've seen, you know, more recently now, um, but I've seen like your other builds and stuff. You do a lot of stuff, but you are primarily, you do a lot of NASCAR. Are you, would you yeah. say you're primarily or you pretty much do everything, but you do a lot of yeah. a good percentage of NASCAR building? Yeah, yeah, I, primarily, although, you know, I still enjoy, I, I've got a bunch, you know, I have a thousand ideas up here oh, and there's, please. you know, hundreds of kits that you know, we all do this is we buy one because we have an idea of what we're going to do with it. Yep. Like, okay, I'm going to turn this, I'm going to put these wheels on that and you go home and you grok it, as they say. You open yeah. it up and you put wheels and tires under the... And we all do it. And then we have a plan to do that. And then something new and shiny comes out. It's like, ooh! Yeah. There's another new oh, thing. gosh. Yeah. Every other month, something new and shiny you comes know, out. And, and then, you know, with certain, you know, builders club or, you know, you it's have to have multiples. every month. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, yeah. But, we, you know, you have to have multiples of the other releases, too. It's like, okay, well, you know. I'm still looking at a number of two plus twos over there that I grabbed from Mike's. Oh yeah, uh, no kidding. And chargers and like, okay, so I just I get delayed. I I, I get uh, either not feeling well or my 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 fingers. I, I have a neuromuscular disease that sort of bothers my hands. It bothers my extremities. So mm -hmm. if my fingers aren't working, my eyes are really good. Or if my eyes are no good, then my hands are working really well. So I have times that I just can't build at all. Mm -hmm. um, I come down to the basement and I watch TV um, or I play on this stupid thing here. So in order to, you know, I, I can obviously watch a race and build at the same time, but I've got to be in the mood. And uh, unfortunately, I just, I struggle sometimes. I, yeah, can, I certainly I can do things. I don't think I'm a lot different. You know, other than Louis Meyer, you know, bangs them out in literally light speed. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, there's probably other guys like that too. I'm just, I get delayed and then, oh, another project. And uh, let's go back to, you know, the earlier this year when the um, uh, the content creators uh, were doing the, uh, the 44 right. uh, yeah. and the small scale thing. Well, they're up there on the shelf ready to be finished. Or, you know, I'm just, I'm paused on the 44 at the vent windows, which yeah, kind of bothered me. But to give you a good excuse on the 44 is you came in very late. So it's well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. Uh, but now it's four months later. So that I have, yeah. you know, the excuse went off the window. Yeah. Um, well, you know, the spark flies out. You, it, it, you get this. That's what I love about the group builds, which we are going to be doing another one. You just don't know what it is yet. That's going to be Mark Batson's choice this time. Wait, what? Oh, boy. Um, uh oh. <laughs> and, um, but those group builds, and, uh, and that's what we love yeah. about. I'm really getting into these group builds, is when it's a whole bunch of us building the thing, it kind of gives you a, a better chance of getting on it and getting it done and we get to know each other somewhat it, it yeah it is it's a lot of fun we do get it, it just it kind of bonds us it does it definitely bonds us all and we what, we have done that i have done that in the past with clubs i belong to yeah it's been common kit build or uh you know it's uh like every year it again at group 25 back uh, up in toronto the um we had a, a common kit build and we would all just, we'd order at that time. We had a um, access to kits, 
you know, with number of hobby shops, they were fighting really to get our business because we would be buying two cases, you know, or three cases of kits. Oh, yeah. um, so, you know, it's like, okay, you know, they can make a couple bucks here and there. I'm not sure uh, maybe fighting for our business wasn't, uh, but, you know, we'd advertise for them a little bit and we'd have common kit builds. So, you know, if we, again, when we all agreed on the 40 Ford, Okay, the 40 Ford sedan, the yeah, sedan delivery, you know, that I, I appreciated the the extra, um, uh, what you call it, you know, the extra leeway when it came to, didn't have to be the 40 Ford coupe. Uh, yeah. Or whatever. So, and um, so uh, again, you know, I, I, I hope, I don't know if Mark Batson is going to actually, I have no idea what he's going to choose. I really, he, he'll keep us, uh, He'll, he'll keep you'll, me we'll, we'll be making the announcement on the 1st of September. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yep. cool. Yeah, and, 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 uh, and it'll start on the 15th of September and go to January 15th, just like last year. Oh, okay. All right. So it's... Uh, yeah, because see, you like came in because, uh, I mean, I had no idea you ever did YouTube before. And then all of a sudden you started yeah. doing, you, you did the YouTube and I'm like, oh, dude, you got to join that group and get it. Yeah. And you got into that build, and I was like, "Yeah, great, Pat. Hey, that, I I was like full yeah. support. Thought that was awesome. It watched, was watched him, and it's like, wow, you do you talk well? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it's like it, being a monthly build probably threw me because uh, yeah. I did join, you know, probably two weeks into it or something, or how I don't remember the exact time schedule, but it was like, eh, okay, and then I get frustrated because okay, I still got you know four hours to work on this, and I. I, you know, I got four hours left, but I've got, you know, a day and a half to do it in. And somehow that throws you off. Yeah. Um, so maybe, you know, short, um, short scheduled build offs aren't great for me or common kit builds or yeah. whatever. But if I have a few months, you know, maybe I can squeeze something out. <laughs> yeah. And, I, I think- you know, of course, I, I've got my Salvino stuff. I've got, a lot of NASCAR stuff, you know, non Salvinos, and uh, there's just it's all kinds of stuff yeah, behind I see me. some of your load there. Yeah, um, yeah, I've uh, I and there's more over on that side of the room. Um, there's some disassembled built ups over there. Um, there's reference uh, material here. <laughs> you know, sounds it, like it, my room here. I got yeah, some, exactly. I've got a lineup of of cars that are are old builds of mine i want to restore that i've been yeah. trying to get that going and, and I, neat well stuff. yeah i i feel I'm like in likes ba- to come in and paint some of them oh good yeah <laughs> See, I, i'm in a basement um yeah. my hobby building area is down with the laundry you know washing machine and i it's not a fully finished basement and i had a basement flood in 2017 oh uh, two and a half feet of water down here. Oh, um, you know, I lost the TV and the cable box and some furniture. And I think it was 168 kits that were down low on the shelves. Oh, wow. Heartbreaking. So now I have a lot of stuff in storage. I can't leave it all out on display. Um, you know, and that really, that, that killed my building. For yeah, that years. had to, yeah, something like that can really take <laughs> the winds big time out of your sails. Oh, yeah. It, it was very deflating. Uh, so, you, you know, I'm, I, I still have fun, but I wasn't having fun with life then because we we're fighting with insurance. Uh, my aunt, who I, I share this home with, uh, she had just undergone surgery. Uh, well, actually, two days after the flood, she had to go in for her uh, neck surgery. That was a big rehab job. Um, you know, me cleaning up the basement and putting together insurance papers it really defeated about a year of my life uh, just to get back to a building. Uh, so, but that's okay. It's that that's, that's the past and uh, we move on. And I, I don't necessarily want to say I'm making excuses, but that's what happens. And so well, life we does deal that. with it. Yeah, we deal with it and we move on. So I wonder now doing this YouTube thing is kind of can be very therapeutic for things like that. I have found like, you know, when we first moved into this house, we had a little bit of disaster, a little bit of a flood. It took out a couple of kits. I mean, nothing like what you went through, but I can yeah. relate. It took out a few kits of mine that were low, but it was the 
it was a psychological thing. Plus we just got this house yeah. and we have, now we have still damage in the house that we haven't really been able to uh, repair fully yet. Uh, it, it, it takes time. We'll, we'll get to it, but um, yeah, it just, it, it can really knock yeah. the heck out of you. I mean, I was like at that point in time when that happened, I was so, Oh, I just got moved into this room, got my models yeah. up. Yeah. I had to pull that wall was one of the infected walls. I had to pull all that down. Hey, what's that? What's that? Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, it's just a wire. Okay. The wire from my ears kind of. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> but. Uh, okay, um, folks, we can, we can edit that out. I, yeah, exactly. I, I got I I should have some gaff tape. But yeah, I can totally <laughs> relate with that. That kind of yeah. stuff really will. Yep. Will just blow you out, and, and uh, everyone goes through something. Yeah. But I, I have found because you have so much support out there and everything, and it's just it's just therapeutic, just the enjoyment yeah. of creating. Yep. The YouTube thing uh, is that is that a part of the reason why you kind of started doing the YouTube? Yeah, yeah that that's that's a good way to put it. It's um, I, I thought about it, and okay, I can show people you know what's going on. I can watch. I've watched other people, watched yours, watched a number of people's videos, and I think, okay, I can, I can do my version of that. Yeah, I can be, I can be candid. I can be, hey, I'm just a regular guy sitting in his basement building models, but I do it differently than you guys do. You know, whatever. I, I'm one of those guys that likes to paint the body first, mm -hmm. and then. If that's successful, then I can carry on with the other stuff. Because as I said earlier, I'm a shelf builder. So as long as it looks good on the outside, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Um, if I start with the chassis and all that stuff, it's like I'm looking at the Salvinos, the next gen car. And we're doing everything but the body, you know, first. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's driving me nuts. Uh, so yeah, I've gone off of Jim's uh, Jim's scheduling a little bit uh, or his uh, his instructions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can't mess with those anyway. Uh, yeah. So, and I figured, yeah, YouTube can uh, uh, we can reach a, a number of people. Yeah, uh, you you you've got many people, and you've been at this for a while. Um, I'm just thinking, okay. Um, I actually going back to the Toronto days before I uh, before I moved back here. Um, I actually was a student at uh, early '90s. I was a student at uh, Second City in toronto you're kidding me really How yeah cool. i did uh two and a half years of um student uh you know you just you pay and they teach you acting they teach you improvisation oh, that is cool um so acting through improvisation i you know i was in retail and i was just kind of uh just dragging my butt through life uh before that i was a security guard and you know just but i wanted to open myself up and to be able to talk to people, and it, I watched a couple of people do improvisation. Um, someone that my mother, a, a student, summer student, my mother worked with, had it at his high school in Toronto, and said, "Hey, let's go see Josh's show." And okay, so a Friday night we went. I watched improvisation by some high school, and I'm thinking, you know what? I'd like to try this. And my mother encouraged me. She actually even paid for my first set of classes. And um, I learned improvisation. If I got anything out of improvisation is that I can do this. I can talk. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want, don't want to say I was quiet, but you wouldn't know me. Uh, this guy that's babbling right now for the last seven hours, how long we've been talking. <laughs> um, no, it's, um, you wouldn't recognize me compared to that guy in like the late eighties. So, it opened me up. And I thought, well, okay, now that things are getting settled and the health issues are, uh, you know, with other family and I don't have two and a half feet of water in my basement, let's get back to being that open guy that, that's, um, awesome. you know, that's that's sitting in the basement uh, or sitting somewhere watching TV. I'm not a big TV watcher other than for the race and, you know, the odd news show or something. So, I'm, I'm not glued to the TV all the time. I'm glued to my computer, um, watching other people's YouTube. Like, no, get downstairs and do something. And so, yeah, uh, I'm, that's yeah. what I'm doing is I'm sharing what I can. Yeah, um, I, I, that's great. 
Yeah, it's uh, it was if you're in a city that has um, classes uh, of acting through improvisation, you know, obviously Chicago, L.A., Toronto, uh, they've got the second city units, but there are yeah. others. If there's any way that you feel like you're a little closed in and you want to open yourself up, and I certainly encourage that. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, you I, had know, a, I, had a, I had a blast. Yeah. Because did you ever think you would be out out talked by just a regular white guy? Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like I, I'm I, I will go to the uh, uh, go to the uh, builders club show uh, meetings, for instance. When you and Rick get going, nobody uh, else could get a word in edgewise. No. <laughs> so. You know, you put a couple of Italian guys together to talk, oh, and you know, uh, it's, yeah, you don't no. get a word in. You know, so you know, I just I I appreciate the being able to open up myself and and talk and tell people and hopefully get a few laughs or just make them yeah. think and go, yeah, I could do that. Hey, yeah, this guy's that's, just a regular schmuck. Great. You know, that's why when I saw you started a YouTube channel. And now hearing your whole behind it, I mean, you you definitely have the correct attitude and why you're doing it. Your purpose in doing it really, yeah. really is a is pure. It's yeah, it's a good, I, you know, I I'm not because uh, I, I, I will say this. What's that? I, I any I, and I hope nobody out there takes me wrong, but I'm going to say it. And and you know, I have haters because of I I'll speak the truth. Anybody can do YouTube. But not anybody can do YouTube um, just because you can turn the camera on and, and shoot. Yeah. But yeah. and but you just it just might not be your thing. It doesn't make you a bad person on that. No, no, not but at all. Like something that you said. One thing I noticed, something that I noticed when I watched a couple of your videos, when I found out you had a YouTube is why I thought you're definitely someone who could bring something to it is. And now I understand why it's because of your second city background. You really were communicating so well. Okay, good. And that good. is the biggest important thing at doing this is the communication yeah. you and make it entertaining. You were entertaining to listen to. Oh, good. And the I, thing I, I find it's like I have theater and stage background and and being up in front of people in public and all that. You have it. Oh, there you go. BG has it. And that was the thing with BG. That's how I felt about him is you know he, spoke, oh, he so, speaks so well to the camera absolutely absolutely and then when you have others that you collaborate like him and i gel real good together yeah. you and i have yeah. always we've always had this thing that's always i've had such fun where we oh, just yeah. get snarky to one another it's oh, so I, funny I, I love busting your hump i, think I it's, love it's, that it i mean well i've I, any of my close friends and people that know me personally we hang out here people that become my friend they have to be someone who can go back and forth. And, and you can yeah. say, I don't get offended. Yeah. It's it's all oh. funny, man. We do stuff to be funny. And I have some friends that it we almost have to like stay out of the public because if we start doing it in public, <laughs> we've been oh. in grocery stores where people think we're going to fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, we get really hard. But, but I, yeah. I, I had a friend uh, <laughs> has passed away. My as we call them, my, my left hand um, uh -huh. uh, up in Toronto when he was the, um, he was kind of the head of the show committee, uh, mm. uh, the late Dave Evans. Uh, anyone knows Oh, the I know who he is. Um, yeah, Dave passed away a few years ago, unfortunately. Um, and uh, he was my, my left hand or my right arm, whichever you want to call it. He and I could riff about anything. Um, and, you know, he was a very talented musician um, but we could gel. We knew it's almost like sports, like hockey players yep. or like sports guys who, you know, like a quarterback knows his guy is going to be there and he's going to throw the ball anyway or pass the puck. I knew, and I knew when to receive Dave's passes and when to pass to him. Um, and communicating like that is, is, it's not for everybody. No, it's not. Um, Some people, and can't. that's okay. You're like, you're, like you said, you're not a bad person. No, exactly. If, if, but those of us who can communicate should. Um, yes, uh, we should do it. And I think I was not living up to that while not doing YouTube videos. Now you watch my videos, 
and I'm horrible at editing or putting in subtitles and stuff like that. I still haven't learned how to do that. Yeah. And frankly, I don't want to pay anything to do that. So I'm doing it on the cheap. Um, I, I'm only now learning how to do at least my titles and stuff, but uh, I, I'm going to fiddle with it. I'm going to learn. It's going to be a work in progress. If like a lot of hobbies or a lot of things that you do, if you don't learn and you know the next one is a little better, then somehow you're, you're missing something. You learn by every experience. Yes. So... You know, and, and, you're taking, folks, and you're taking it. The, the number one thing is you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, this is definitely uh, when I started mine and, and I had a lot of reasons why I'm starting it. It is to build up to what I'm getting to. And it is about creating this empire or whatever. But first and foremost, I enjoy doing this. I set yes. out to do this because I wanted to. I wanted oh, yeah. to reach out and help others with their hobby and and I, just talk about this great hobby i tend to think that if you're if you're doing it just to make content you're not you probably shouldn't no, um you're doing it to have fun you know i mean i'm going to talk to my local hobby shop which i am so lucky i have a hobby shop three blocks away oh nice yeah i can walk to it um, nice. Not on a day like today. Well, I mean, you'll laugh, but it's well with the humidity. It's about 105 Fahrenheit out there today. Here, here in, I'm, you know, like I know you guys yeah. got a nice dry heat at 105 or whatever. Yeah, I guess you could call it that, but it it, it, it isn't it isn't fun yeah. to be out there. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go today. We're at 106 uh, right now. Yeah, uh, but you're with no your clouds. Humidity, and you're, yeah. Your humidity or dew factor or whatever you guys call it isn't high. No, we're, thank you're on goodness. the Great Lakes. We're in the swamp. I went grocery shopping earlier today. Well, I, it's I, all I could do to. Go I ahead. grew up near Buffalo, New York, so I know. Yeah, what okay. I through. <laughs> yeah, I had. Um, oh, yeah, you wouldn't have been too far. Um, we're about some uh, Buffalo area. I was just south of Buffalo in a town called Olean that was very close to the Pennsylvania border. So yep. I had uh, what was I had. I, I, I got a lot, especially in the wintertime, a lot of stuff came off of Lake Erie. Yeah. And, yeah, you get the um, snow through Olean, that's for sure. Yeah. And it was, uh, we weren't far from Lake Erie. It was to right. the west of us. And, and yeah, and yeah it, it was. Yeah. So I now, know you know, I know your plight. <laughs> and our yeah, summers yeah, you, were, yeah, the humidity, holy yeah. mackerel. It's just, it's kind of early, you know, in middle of June for this kind of humidity. And yeah. they're just saying, well, it's a pattern. We're going to get. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, having gonna it drop, too. It's going to drop down to high 70s for the weekend, but then we're going to go back up again early next week. So we don't get the lake effect snow that you guys got in in that area of, uh, of Lake Erie. But, um, you know, it's we have pretty mild winters otherwise. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, you know, it, it does snow. Um, but it's mm -hmm. um yeah it's, i certainly i don't know if you're any of your local phoenix guys have seen snow oh wait did you get not. snow <laughs> yeah so it's uh did you get snow in 1852 it, it snowed here once in 1986 wow and it wow. actually i i went out and worked and everybody was freaking out and i was uh, like you know 87 yeah, whatever right. I and my buddy and I we we painted houses and um, the snow lasted. It snowed enough in some parts of the city, and we had quite a few inches of snow on the ground that stayed till about one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Wow! So we took our lunch, went out, and had a snowball fight. It was the craziest yeah. thing. It was. Weird. Oh yeah, exactly. Never so, seen it again since then. No. Anyway, to get off weather or whatever, it just <laughs> it it's um. I totally derailed, derailed my train of thought there. <coughs> That's so, okay. That happens. Um, yeah. But That's getting so... back to YouTube content, yeah. if you think you can do it, give it a try. Cause, Absolutely. Uh, Never you know, discourage just, anybody to give it a shot. I, I get, you know, like I said, I, I get boosts of followers. I get the odd one. I'm going to follow that person right back if they've got content. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to see what they're all about. Yeah. And you know what? They, they could be, I, there's one guy I follow that's nothing but a die cast. You know, small Hot Wheels size collector. Can't think of his name offhand, but it's I'll follow him because okay, he gets cool Hot Wheels. 
I'll grab the uh, cool Hot Wheel. I'm not a you know crazy diecast collector, but uh, you know, but I follow people that have a lot of content too. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, I love hunting down good content, yeah. and I get it from my commenters. Yep. I check out people's channels. I see they have a channel, and yep. um, yeah, and that's where I found a lot of a lot of the guys that that I've become good friends with. You know, yeah, it is. It's it's yep. It's it's fun. It's fun oh, checking absolutely. out other people's stuff. You're watching the Lucas C channel on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. How many? Uh, you're you're up in the thousands, are you? Well, no. I mean, I me, I have. I think I'm at sixteen or seventeen thousand. Okay, but okay. Uh, I'm talking. There's a lot now for compared to when I started. I oh remember yeah, yeah. When I started, I went out and I looked for model car YouTubers, and there weren't a lot of them, and most yeah. of them weren't active. Right. So I kind of got in at a really good time, not the best time. I wish I would have done it two years before when Andy was <laughs> first kicking me to get it going. Yeah. Um, and I had. Me, I had a lot of help from Andy. So that was a powerhouse going Okay. Through. So I picked up a lot right off the bat because of him. And um, and then I kind of didn't really pay attention to anyone else. I just was doing my thing. And then a couple of years ago, I, I should look and see what else is out there with, with model car content. Yeah. You know, see if... I, actually... And, and I was... When, whoa. <laughs> when, you, when you mentioned Andy just now, I just remembered where my train of thought went. Uh, back from a few minutes ago before. Oh, your hobby before. shop. Yeah, the local hobby shop. I'm going to ask him if I can do a short walkthrough. Oh, um, absolutely. You know, he's uh, he's got a Salvino sticker on his window. I got him. And uh, he, um, Adam and his wife bought the store last July. Windsor Hobbies has existed for over 40 years. Wow. Uh, but, um, Adam and, uh, and, and his wife, Catherine, took over in July. They bought the place, the family that originally started it, and uh, the daughter took over. They retired. They sold the place off. Adam and Catherine have made a huge change, you know, just changing the way, you know, brightening things up a little bit, um, changing the displays, getting in more stock. Um, I think the older owners, and I, I still love, love Jerry and Shirley, um, they had had enough, surely, oh, yeah. especially. So, Naturally. but Adam is new. There's new life at Windsor Hobbies, and I'm going to try to go in. I'm going to ask him if he would, and I'll do a quick walk through with the uh, with the cam. And um, yeah, because you, you know, I've seen yours yeah. through Andy's, and uh, I, you know, not the voluminous warehouse that uh, you yeah. know we don't have that here, but um, the um, but you know, I'll walk through in the aisles, uh, you know, just for a couple minutes. It's a small store, but he's happy, they're yeah, happy, definitely. So far. Definitely, you should do that. Uh, you know, uh, the guy who's really the king of, of, of hobby shop walkthroughs is Tim Brown over at Throttle Power. Go watch a few of his, yeah. And get some I have ideas. him on yeah. my so, yeah, on yeah, my definitely. subscribe list, yeah. He's but I just I'm amazed by Andy's. Yeah. Um, an old friend of ours uh, has a nice hobby shop up in Oshawa, Canada. You yeah. may remember Randy Frost. Uh, yes, I've been trying to get in touch with Randy Frost. I'd like to bring him on here. Yeah. If you got a poll he, for me. Randy and I he, go way back, too. He is so busy with the store. Um, he, But he's got a very generous store. He, everything looks really good, like from pictures I've seen, and yeah, that would almost be like nice to feature. Um, yeah. at least have a talk with him if he could spare some time, because uh, he's again like a running around, you know, <laughs> as Jim Rogers would say, asses and elbows. Yeah, um, you know, busy. Um, but he actually hosted, uh, and you probably saw it online. Um, a backyard sale, his parking lot sale. No, I people. didn't. I didn't see yeah. that. Uh, I think that I don't remember when that was. It's when, say, the last month or so, sometime maybe in May or June. It was, uh, yeah, you fill your trunk and uh, it's a trunk sale, uh, backseat sale. You bring your stuff out and you can vend your kids in his parking lot. He's a hobby shop. Yeah, that's he, cool. Yeah, 
he invites people to do a you know do a parking lot show right. you know andy's talking about he wants to do something like that you know that back room that he has yeah it, that is uh he would be up for a, doing that's that. a neat idea yeah. uh, you'd have because to the way he on. looks at it if he brought vendors in and did a little swap meet it still brings people into his store too oh yeah that's exactly what it does yeah and that's smart people, that and and you know and Randy and I, uh, I, I have to give him a lot of credit. Yeah. Uh, he was so much help for me in my early days when I had my resin casting yep. and, uh, I learned a lot from him. Just, we talked it for some reason. I don't know. He liked me and we got in contact. We used to talk. Yeah. I can't, a lot. can't figure out why, but and uh, he gave me so much great advice yep. and taught me a lot about resin yep. casting. And yep. to me, there was only really a couple of resin casters that I admire that I strive to be as good as them. And he was yeah, one of them. Yeah. And I would have his product and I look at it and I go, okay, I got to do it like that. Yep. And so Randy's, it, Randy's someone I have a lot of. Yeah. Uh, for. Yeah. Really. Uh, it's nice to hear uh, his store is still doing good. Yeah. Oh, his store is doing great. He's expanding. That's awesome. That he, is he awesome. Finally, you know, he had to move from, he was in a strip plaza of sorts and he just, he was busting at the seams he couldn't get the unit directly next door, but the the one after that was empty. Anyway, he got this whole unit or this awesome. whole you know store of his own, um, and it's just again he is so busy. Uh, you know that's um, that's fantastic. And it, oh, it's but wait, wait, wait! He didn't get the memo that the hobby was dying. Hobby is dying, and there's one guy that's <laughs> killing it. Um, yeah. You know, the, um, <laughs> Yeah, we got to talk about that somehow one of these days. <laughs> but um, no, he's just, he's happy. He and I he's actually spread, he's, were he's messaging expanding. back and forth once in a while. Awesome. Um, and it's because uh, he was kind of, he knew that I had an in somewhat at Silvino's. So I was like, you know, what's coming? I said, I can't tell you. I'm sworn to secrecy. <laughs> and even for Randy, I spent um, time in Randy's basement. And I crushed better stuff coming out of his pots than some people sell at swap meets. Yeah. So exactly. That's you know, so, it, yeah. You know, I he, know that you know, he'd pull it out of the rubber and he'd say, What do you think of this? And I'd look at it and go, Well, other than these couple little spots that could be filled, he said, crush it. And he'd look at it and you know, we he wouldn't fill it with raw resin, you know, some guys do. You know, mm -hmm. you put a little dab of resin in for, just for an air hole or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, crush it. And, you know, it brought tears to my eyes. He said, yeah, just I can't put my name on that. Yeah, that was something that him and I talked about. And that's how I did yeah. it, too. And yeah. um, I remember one time I ordered something from him and I needed a, a body that I was going to cut a part off to restore another car. Yes. And he says, well, I've got a, a, a one that's a junk one, you know, one that didn't come yeah. out so well. I'll yep. send that to you so you can have that. And yep. when I got it, I looked at this body and I'm, I couldn't find what was wrong with it. Yep. What? Where, how was this a reject? And yep. and I knew there was other red casters that would quote unquote sell their rejects. Oh, geez. Yeah. And him and I talked about that. That's an absolute no way would I do that because you sell it as a reject yet it goes out into the public and people say, oh, what, what the heck? And then it, that's your name yep. on it. I bought yeah. this from Perry's Resins or yeah. Dencon yeah. Scale Resin Specialties, whatever I was called. And um, look how terrible it is. Well, that's not really what our problem well, that's, is. So, and that's, yeah, that's I, the thing. I threw away more stuff than yeah. what people would sell. In all honesty, I think he said his number was about 70% got crushed. 70% wow. of what came out of the pots, if it was a body or something... And it, it got crushed. He said, I crushed so many bodies. And we would, you know, literally shovel them up and throw them in garbage cans. Wow. Uh, that stuff that got crushed. And uh, so, you know, I, I learned, I, I didn't end up going ahead. With, but I was actually thinking about doing some casting uh, way back. Um, yeah. And I learned from him. It's like, okay, yeah, you can't put your, your name on junk. No, um, you can't. You got to have pride in your work. And, and I'm good at someone selling me a second if they tell me it's a second, but I have to also be responsible enough to say that is a second from 
Joe Blow Company. Mm-hmm. You know, the guy told me it was a second. It's not his prime stuff, but I used it to cut it up. I'll probably go further than we really need to, but I don't know that we communicate well as model builders. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, that's, I'm not, yeah, I'm probably digging a really deep hole here, <laughs> but um, it, well, whatever. There's always Philip, rabbit holes. Let me let me get to the bottom and then fill it in. I don't care. Okay, um, <laughs> go right it, ahead. We need to communicate a little better. Like some guys are shy; they don't they don't speak well. Um, they they are feel, feeling somewhat inhibited. You know, they'll come out and they'll they'll come, crawl out of their basements and they'll bring their model and they'll put it out on display, and that's great. And then they take their prize or not, and they scoot on home again. Those guys are fine, but. You know, I just I, I wish we could communicate better. Yeah, uh, I, I, definitely, definitely. Yeah, communication I, and, is and, very important in this this whole yeah. thing we got going. And for those of us who can communicate, maybe better than others, yeah. and you know, to the point of being, uh, hey, you're annoying. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm um, being annoying. I, 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 I don't I don't try to be annoying. It just it's how you perceive me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's it just well, I wish, you know people were more upfront and honest yeah exactly and that's back to why i felt yeah you should do a channel when i saw what you do is is your communication <laughs> skills yeah i think yeah. it is an important thing i think you can get yeah. really good information out to people that normally I, I they, the, so. they wouldn't so. get out there yeah definitely and uh before we wrap this all up i want to we were going to talk about our little um, connection we have with Salvino's, the Builders yeah. Club. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, the, the thing that, you know, I, I Jim reached out to me. He saw my channel, I guess, liked me. It was before anything was going yeah. and reached out to me before anybody had heard of Salvino. So I started getting a relationship with Jim right off the bat. And, and he came, he was coming through town and we met at Andy's and he showed me all these prototypes. I saw stuff way before uh, it ever came, including yeah, yeah. I even saw the prototype held in my hand of that of the uh, modified that's coming out from Wes's that yeah. Wes is doing for, through them. Yeah, and yeah. Um, right uh, right away it was just wow. These guys are going to bring back. I could feel the NASCAR yeah. thing kind of softened up for a while. Yep, you you agree? But then I felt there was going to be well, a resurgence, and they came at the right time with the right kits. Well, I diecast really, it just beyond flooded the hobby yeah, and people were getting away from building, um, you know, and that's, that's kind of rough, but uh, yeah, there was, there was a, a stagnant uh, changing to the car of tomorrow, which thankfully is long gone. Uh, that, <laughs> was, that disappointed me. Because that thing yeah. was just such an ugly piece of junk, but yeah. um, it created what's now the safer um, next gen car uh, in a roundabout way. It just it had to go through ugly to get to uh, to yeah. get to this, and and that's all that's all well and good. Backing up a little bit to the uh, the Savinos thing, um, we did not have a distributor in Canada when they first came out with the Great Ghost. So actually, and even what was the second release was the um donny ellison monte carlo or the olds whichever oh. the second release was oh boy i ordered those in case lots through a hobby shop in ypsilanti michigan through no model kidding. cave oh wow and oh, driving okay. them i drove them across the border wow um, dedication yeah go back to the beginning um and with the builders club yeah we there was nothing um there was no way to charge Canadians at the time, so I didn't I get in that. right at the very beginning. But, you know, as you know, um, you helped Jim out a little bit at the beginning. And actually, I was submitting stuff to him to help him. Yep. And, um, you know, I, I think, I don't want to say the rest is history, but the, um, you know, I think things have gone pretty well for four years. Um, Absolutely. For an American, you know, company. Everything, you know, I, other than the tooling, which... You know, just for pure economics, the tooling has to be cut overseas. Uh, there's yeah. no one in America or North America that can do it as quickly or for the price. Exactly. So, you know, 
but everything is manufactured in America except for that tooling. And you know what? I, I think it's it's a success story. Um, and certainly, you know, they fought through the COVID times. Um, you know, they, they fought through you know a, a few design issues and stuff. Uh, but things are things are booming. Um, yeah. I'm so happy just to be part of things. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm you know I'm not on the payroll or anything, but uh, I, I certainly will represent as best as I can. You know, I mean, you've seen on the builders club. I do the uh, the meeting notes. If yeah, people, thank goodness. Like I, missed it, I missed last night. So yeah, we, we have a video time. meeting every Wednesday night on the builders club, and um, some guys can't see it because they're you know you can review the video eventually because they yeah. stay on. But just for quick notes, I put up the notes. You know, just another another thing that I do for the hobby, I guess. Yeah, uh, I appreciate it, that because it's like sometimes it's hard. I'm doing stuff and I, I seem to always forget. I actually yeah, and then yeah. I'm, I go to work Wednesday night. So I have to get ready for work while they're on. Some, so when I remember to turn it on, I listen. And like yeah. last night, um, I I passed out before work and I went, oh, I missed it. So uh, when I got home from work last night, I read yeah. your notes. And I go, oh, that's what went on. You know, awesome. they're, we're having fun with that. And it's like, again, it's a success story for the hobby right now. It really it's, is. Salvino's is doing, we're seeing things, even, you know, round two is finding some old tools and they're not just re-releasing the same stuff every cycle or every few cycles. They're yeah. coming up with some old tooling up and, and Ravel certainly like, you know, we can still count on them because there's still a few things coming from them as the, you know, the bankruptcy continues uh, with blitz and whatever we there's still product coming every uh every once in a while now how's the swap meet uh uh i like how does it look down your way we have a guy here who's been around forever mike chow very good friend of mine and he puts on a swap meet here um about every four months so that's been really cool but okay. the problem out here in the southwest everything's so spread out the yeah the, we don't have the collection of model shows like is back yeah. east where like for instance especially this time of year tim brown he's going to almost a model show every month or every every week gotcha. I, mean, I remember yeah. when i lived in virginia i was going to two to three model shows a month easy yeah. oh yeah and swap yeah. meets and stuff like that we don't get yep. that here and it kind of is a bummer uh motor city n and l will come up in middle of november um and motor city has hundreds of tables there are, wow. you know, gymnasium. Um, I'll have to send you some photos of that too, if we can yeah. uh, publicize that a little bit for my yeah, downriver and my Detroit area auto modelers. Um, Toronto, we have uh, September 26th, I think. It's uh, whatever that Saturday is, the end of September. Uh, Toronto has a good show. It's, you know, uh, for those that are watching from Toronto, they know about it. Or if you don't know about it, then certainly try it. Um, it, but it's a good gymnasium full plus an extra side room. Um, but there's lots going on out there, guys. Toronto will be wonderful. Apparently, the swap meet in the spring was quite good. Again, I'm looking forward to getting out and seeing people again. Because, uh, again, you, as I said hours ago, just wind me up and, uh, you know, I, I'll talk. No, that's uh, good. That's why I wanted to have you on. Yeah, you know, I go I up to like Toronto, see, see the old friends. Uh, I always get a great welcome um, when I go back up there. Ah, we miss you. You're coming back. I can't afford to live in Toronto anymore. But um, it's um, it's one of those cities that has gone insane with real estate prices. Yeah. Uh, has, yeah. you know, a lot of major cities. But you know what? Just getting back out. We got to get back out to contests. We got to start getting out. Even if you're not shaking hands or stuff, get out and talk. Talk up the hobby. Um, yeah. Let's be enthusiastic about this. It I mean, is. When I went over to Atlanta last year. Yes. That was, oh, wow. That was the greatest time. Yeah. It wasn't long enough. And and I'm looking, I'm going to the IPMS show up in Vegas in two okay. months. And I'm so, I got that all settled down. And a whole How trip far away is that for you? Four hours. Okay. So it, yeah. it's, it, it's going to be a day trip or an overnighter? I'm going to stay the night. I, 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 I'm hooking up with a good buddy of mine who's a, another resin caster in tank stuff, uh, Steve from Value Gear. And he lives yeah. up in Flagstaff. That's about two, two and a half hours north of me. I'm going to drive up there. 
latch on with him, head to Vegas nice. and, and share a hotel with him, which is cool with me starting to come out with my resin line. He said, yes. I got two tables. Why don't you bring some of your stuff? So I'm going to ah. be debuting some of my resin there up there. Good. So I, um, I, I see my, my mailbox is still empty. <laughs> Soon. Yeah, Actually, I, I definitely going to hook you up with one of them. One of them yeah, I, I need a conversion for one of these Le Mans I got laying yes, around. Yes, you do. So. Yeah, I'm going to be spreading out of that thing to quite a few uh, few of the guys who want to build those up on yep. their channels and stuff. Yeah, right, This thing is going to be really, really cool. Uh, you've got a, a place to run your tanks and stuff there at home? Yeah. Or you um, have a place? Yeah. See, that's been the thing that has been slowing up my thing yeah. where I want to start this a year ago. I don't have a workshop. I've been trying to okay. figure out a workshop here. I was going to build one and yep. then the lumber prices blew the heck up. Yeah. So that yeah. stalled yeah. me out. I kind of got a makeshift area now that I can kind of work, but something yeah. just fell into my lap that I actually, I'm, I'm going breaking bad. I have an RV. No. <laughs> I, 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 uh, All right. I have my, a very, very, very close friend of mine. I basically rent a piece of my backyard that he keeps his uh, art. He bought a trailer to live in it just, and it helps us out. He's been a close friend. He always would be, in and out renting a room for me throughout years. My daughter grew up with yeah. him around. We're, we're yeah, family. Yeah. And so when we bought this house, it's like, heck, I got I got a spot in the backyard. You can put an RV. It's a lot cheaper than renting an apartment. Well, this RV is kind of old and he's having some issues with it. He just went out and bought a brand new one, a trailer, and he was going to just try to see it, sell it. And he's the one, I didn't even think about it. He says, you should take this and turn it into your workshop. And I'm like, I didn't even think about that. So we'll find a place to set that up. Air conditioned. I'm going to just take out the, it's getting run down. So I'm going to pull out all the furniture, make some workbenches. And, gotcha. and uh, I'm going to have nice, my workshop. Uh, be a nice paint booth, spray paint booth. In oh, yeah. Thing. There's going to, yeah, there's going to be that too. So. Yep. Uh, yep. It'll, it'll be fully wired and, and I'll, uh, have, uh, I'll have my air conditioning. I need to have. That's the problem with doing it out in the garage. Yeah, wow. Well. Is um, not not to mention it's uncomfortable for us to, if you're in a garage in the summertime here in Phoenix. It's you can't resin cast in the heat or even oh, geez, no. even in the cold. If you don't have temperature control where you're casting, it can affect your resin. So yeah. I can't yeah, have extreme heats or cold. Remember Randy referring to that is that yeah. The, you know, when you're blending your, your two parts, you're, you're mixing, you got to have that climate control. Things have got to be perfect. It does. It has to be. You know, that includes relative humidity and everything. So Oh, yeah. Humidity uh, really messes it up. We have a real, yep. thank goodness we don't have, hum but, but that's why if I have a controlled environment, I don't have to worry about that. Yep. And it's, yep. this is a very good controlled environment. And good. it's just like, holy cow. I didn't that's even, excellent. Yeah. I didn't even think about it because he was going to like, yeah, you know throw it out out in front and we were gonna put a for sale sign on it yeah yeah and he, uh, he said that and I'm like, why did i think of that jeez i'm sitting here having a problem with with having a uh um having a place to work so so how long has but, it been sitting there not being used uh, no he's it it hasn't been it has it's okay. been he's been living in it oh he's, right up until right okay. now we we he just brought the trailer home yesterday and then we're gonna on saturday we got a buddy of mine who's a truck driver who can maneuver stuff because there's a little bit of a corner ah. in my backyard you got to maneuver yep. and yep. so he's gonna pull that trailer out and put his new trailer in and that's when it'll be shut down i hope to have it up and running within a couple weeks so oh, good. I, I all level the right and everything and, but in getting back you know to what we did here originally i get to know you it, thank you for oh, I, you I, know, for doing I, this. I want to have you now that we've gotten all this, uh, you know, getting the audience to get to know you. Now I got to have you on uh, again when I have the unpodcasts that I really want to do with all my buddies, where I'll have you and BG and uh, Tim, and you know, all different times I want to have different people on, and we just can Ooh. sit around and talk about model cars and oh, do exactly, some crap yeah. and some whys and. You know yeah, oh, exactly. Well, how, I, I'm how, not how sure. you you grew up there in the Great White North? How you people are, eh? Well, we actually, I I was a guest a number of times on the Model Car Podcast. Oh yeah, um, 
Yeah, and that's right. Was, yes, um, you were. You know, I, I, I guess that I wasn't, you know, I was invited out and uh, I had a good time doing those and I made those epic long. Because I riff on, you know, to whatever. Die, and, um, that's fine. You know, me. again, you get you get epic long uh, talk out of me. Uh, you know, I like I, it. I, as an Irishman, I, I've kissed the Blarney Stone. Oh, um, there you go. And, and then, so I, I, I just I have to thank you because this will give me a, a good boot in the butt. Yeah, I, I you know? yeah, and that's what I, I want to have yeah. happen. Because you definitely have so much to offer to the hobby, and that's good. why, Thank you know, you. I want to have Thank you back on this show. I want to yeah. do some collabs with you. And I, <laughs> I, I do like, you know, I do like your, your channel. I think well, you got something there with your channel. We'll, we'll, we'll work on the, uh, the, uh, the Group 25 uh, Toronto yeah, uh, dealership uh, deal. And um, I'll see what I can come up with in my, all my old photos. Yeah, but, that would but, be um, great. I would love to do yep. a video on that because that a cool is, lab there. That'll be great. That is such and an whatever else. Thing. Since since we're thousands of miles away, it's uh, it's unlikely that we're going to meet anytime soon. But uh, in person, but you never know. Yeah, but that's and, what's great uh, about this technology is look at how yeah. we can all just hang out. Though this has been a good boot in the butt uh, again. This is uh, good. I'm going to help me and. I've got a couple of things to show and uh, maybe yeah, you well, got a lot to offer. It's almost, oh, thanks. It's almost dinner time. I mean, it's, we're now away from dinner time here, but uh, after dinner might, it might be a, a short video tonight. Uh, awesome. Just a couple oh, you, got juiced. you got juiced I, a bit. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I do. I just, like I said, I got to figure out how to make titles and, those those cutesy little things that you dump best, in there every once the in a while. The best thing to do, the best thing to do is just play with it and get to know it. It wasn't easy yep. at first for me. And you know, you said something before about one thing that can really get lost in, in depending on how, what you're going, what your goal is to get into YouTube. I know some people go, I'm going to do YouTube because there's these people that make a million dollars and that's what I got to go oh, for. Geez. Not with model cars for sure, but it's, no. it's, a, it's a lot of work. <laughs> No, and as no, far as you got to have this pure love for it and want to do this, you and I, you and I need to be a whole lot prettier to make money off YouTube. Oh God, yeah, oh, you boy. know, it's yeah. uh, we, that face, definitely face helps radio. a lot. Beautiful people immediately uh, make a lot yeah. of money. Oh but, no, it, it, if I was in this for the money, no, I, I wouldn't, it, I wouldn't it, touch it, the hobby. I wouldn't. Uh, I, I'd be out doing something else. You know, yeah, I, this but, is. You yeah. got it's it's totally hundred percent. You got to do this because you the and love again, for the, I, um, I, you know what? Where I've where I've been paid in the hobby, I've never been paid with dollars. No, I'm actually I'm working. I'm collaborating with Bill Coulter right now on an article. Oh, are you? Um, oh boy, you and I got some talking to do after this for his publication, um, uh, uh, Automotive oh. uh, Trends in Scale. That's awesome. Um, he and I are working on, on a uh, an article for that, um, and he featured well, not featured, but I was one of his choices in his mo a Mustang book. He did a book uh, about five years ago, uh, fifty years of Mustang oh, uh, really? in models, and I got three photos in that. Um, nice. I, I actually I call him Uncle Bill. Um, Ugh, Uncle Bill and I sorry. get along famously. I, oh, that's so all. I, that's away. another one of those guys I have mad, mad respect for. I wondered how he was oh, doing. You know what? I you would what? love He's, to I, have him on this show. I have oh, such, yeah. such huge, mad respect for him. But old Uncle Bill is just yeah. He, I I don't he, I don't he know if I, he remembers who I am. We had uh, a few conversations, but I have mad respect for that guy. You oh tell man. Him, when I was one of my resin ventures, remember when I was doing all that stuff for the uh, for the Polar Lights, um, uh, Mercury's and Torinos and stuff. Well, I, I sent you my original J and J. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I, the Mercury the W, w -nose nose that I was able to mold yep. mine off of. Yep. Yeah, the um, yeah, you the, made you made the corrections and uh, yeah. and made well, the conversion kit. Yeah, when he contacted me and he wanted to do an article and all my stuff, and I was like, "Oh, Bill yeah. Coulter's going to want to do something oh, on yeah. my stuff." I sent him all this stuff. I was just so honored yeah, that he oh, yeah. covered that, and and yep. it was 
yeah, that dude is is major to me, along with like Doug White. It was so it was so cool having Doug White on here. All those guys from oh, geez, Doug that's White. why I, I feel wow. yeah, for, that's yeah. why I feel, you know, and then becoming friends with with Mark Batson was one of those guys later on, getting really big in scale auto, and we've become such close friends. These are all dudes like the guys, especially from the 80s. Um, yes, that was when I was starting to build that made an impact on my building. I have mad respect and honor for and well, Bill is one. I, of them. Yeah, I got to meet a lot of those guys at um, Internet Nationals Toledo. Yeah, you know, that was right. the event to go to. Yeah. Um, and I, oh man, I didn't realize a few years ago was the last one. I would have made a point yeah. to make for that one. You know so what? That was one the of my final one went out with a bit of a whimper. Because yeah. like it was still it was well uh, attended, but it just it hurt to have the final NNL Nationals. Yeah, uh, that was so the one say, that started. It went that. out. It went out well. I shouldn't say it went out with a whimper, but it it just it went out, and it was like it was almost like the end of Sopranos, where they're yeah. sitting down and the music starts, and then it goes to to black. It's like. What happened there? You know what? And it's the, the story very simply. And uh, John Strick and Pat Skyver and a, a number of those guys I've made friends with over the years said the old guys just couldn't do it anymore. And the young guys weren't picking it up. There weren't enough young guys yeah. coming in to take over. Yeah. And the old guys have had enough. It is so great that that Doug White made a point to really yeah. put multiple cut where he did all these interviews. And I, I, I've been, you know, I love watching his channel and watching his coverage of that last show. Interesting yep. way of a coverage of a show where he didn't cover really the show. He brought and did coverage of individual builders and their models. Fantastic. And that's why and when we talked on the phone a couple of weeks ago, um, that it would be good to actually have an interview desk set off to the side. And if you picked out a modeler or two that you wanted to interview for this YouTube right there at the show, if you could get 20 That's minutes. That's a fantastic you, idea. You know, um, if you had the guys that you haven't already had or, you know, somebody new that. Maybe that that's, to, something, that's something we should do. A couple of us channels should do. I would what? definitely do it. You should do it. When you get Well, I, I'm thinking about that for Toronto again. Is I was thinking. Oh, of, absolutely! Do that. Yeah, that my, my local idea. my local hobby shop. I I'd like to do a walkthrough, but Toronto. I'd like to say, hey, this is you know, just going to do a short interview uh, for YouTube and uh, share it amongst the community. Yeah. Um. You know, there's a couple builders up there that are known that have been in scale, scale auto. They've been in fine scale, um, and they are just or they're just salt of the earth guys that love the hobby. And I almost rather interview those guys than the guys that are winning all the trophies. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to skip any of them, but yeah, um, no, there's so it, many stories know, to be told, you know, I, I and, like an inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Guys that have, that have been there since almost the beginning, you know, a number of Toronto guys have moved on, but there's guys that have been there for a long time or yeah. just guys that I've known. I'm thinking that that you can know, be, Yeah. There is so much that sounds like so much is going on up in your yeah. neck of the woods. Up, up, this up is in where, your head. Yeah, up in your head. But this is a great opportunity for you yeah. having a channel. Uh, well, thanks a ton, Pat. Oh, no, thank keep, you. Keep and you're on welcome. going. And you know, you know what I ask every one of my guests to do before we sign off? Uh, got to say it. You got to do it. Uh, keep uh, sewing your fingers back together. And um, not sniffing the glue? Close enough. That works for me. Thanks a ton. Go check out his channel, Pat Redman here, the guy up in Canada. And you know what else we say here? Here's the producers. Mm -hmm.